Hello all. In the last video, I showed you a simple example of verb tampering. Now I promised you that I would manage to package all of that and provide it as a lab exercise. This is really what this video is going to be about. Uh, you can click on the download button down below uh, and download the VM. Now you would need VirtualBox with the extension pack in order to be able to run the VM and uh, it's in the open virtualization format so you can just import it inside VirtualBox and I'll just show you in a bit how to. Now you're probably thinking uh, there has been something wrong with your download because is the VM only 22 MB right Apache and all of that kind of packed in and to be honest guys the reason it took me one additional day uh, is because I did not want to package everything in Ubuntu server and give you a 400 500 MB download right uh, it's not scalable as well simply because you know for every single lab exercise I would have to end up either updating a VM and pushing it up uh, into the cloud for you to download or to upload individual VMs each of which could be a staggering you know 400 to 600 MB so I did a bit of research and I think uh, you know a lot of people recommended uh, that I try out tiny core Linux on Facebook and other places and I tried it out it's a very interesting distribution and where you know you'll probably have to run through the docs to understand uh, how to make part of the file system persistent but the end conclusion was uh, I was able to go ahead and package everything in within 22 MB with a full-blown GUI and this is really what we're going to use in this exercise now while importing the VM uh, there may be some small issues at times I'm going to import it here especially when you put the networking to bridged mode and you basically try to install the same VM on another machine with VirtualBox. There's a link to a video which I just shot and put it up on YouTube, which you can see as well. Uh, okay, now let me do the demo. Please download the VM from the link given below. And I've already downloaded it. And my setup is really Kali Linux, which is already running. And now let me actually import the VM in. So I'm going to hit file, import appliance, open appliance, desktop, and I'm selecting the OVA file. Continue. You can change the name if you like. Verb tampering, just so that you know what VM is for what. And as tiny as it is, it probably takes like a second to import. Now, the important thing to remember is to set the network settings right. So click on that and ensure that if bridge mode is selected you have the right adapter through which you would want bridging to be done now the vm is set to do dhcp automatically and in my network i have a dhcp server on the lan so you know go ahead and change this setting depending on how your network is configured right you could even give a static ip after the booting after booting the vm click okay Let's hit start. And there you go. Yes, it's, it's really booted already. <laughs> I know it's unbelievable, but your system is all ready now. Now all one would have to do is kind of go in, click system tools, terminal, and because I'm running DHCP, quickly look at the IP address. Uh, it basically tells me that my IP address is 1.8 on the LAN network. And my Kali machine can reach that IP address as well. So let me go back to the Kali machine. Here I am. So after you found the IP address, 
we can pretty much go and try out the demonstration. The Apache server is turned on by default. So let me go in here. 192.168.1.8 is the IP which we found out. And here goes, right? Pen Tester Academy, enter at your own risk. Now, the Pen Tester Academy image is loading from our server. So, you know, if you have another network configuration where the VM does not have direct internet access, uh, then you wouldn't see the logo loading in, right? Now we click on submit, and as expected, we are confronted with the auth required. Uh, we do not know the authorization, fails. And as we've seen uh, in the previous video, this basically means that now we could try for other things, one of which may be because of misconfiguration in the Apache HT access file itself, right? And the misconfiguration which we discussed is that we are restricting the authentication only when we are querying for that resource using the post method, which means if we use a get method, it would work perfectly. So we can go back in here and I could just use curl, first do a post, we'd need to figure out the directory, if you notice it's slash secret. And when we run this, we get our auth required. And as we've seen before, when we change this to get, we no longer require the auth. And I can verify this by going back in here, hitting an enter and ooh, credit card details. Ah, my credit card is in there. So <laughs> that's all for this demonstration. If you're using Windows and you have any sort of issues in importing the VM, I've created the short video, which I kind of, you know, gave a link to down here, the YouTube one. Have a look at this and you should probably be able to go up and running in a matter of seconds, right? So use the feedback tab, which is there in, you know, your account login. Uh, that's when you click member access, where you can see your logs and recent updates and all of that and uh, tell me if things worked out with this VM in specific, right? Because uh, I've kind of just made it, so your feedback is very, very valuable. Right, guys? And uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.